Yup, that was me in 2022. Fast forward to 2023, now I'm back in Korea. Spending a year in Germany was one of my best life choices that made me get out of my comfort zone and become a stronger person. If you're wondering what you should do as an exchange student in Germany, this is the video for you. 1. Become an A1 German warrior I also went to Germany barely knowing the German alphabet, but now that you're in Germany, enjoy the advantage of being exposed to German every day and try to learn some of it. I left Germany at an A1.2 level and was able to speak ein bisschen Deutsch, like Hallo, danke, tschüss, zusammen oder getrennt, mit Karte bitte und ich kann kein Deutsch sprechen. 2. Travel around Germany Germany may not be the most entertaining country, but once you sign up for my Bahn card, it's time to travel around Germany. There are so many cities worth checking out like Bonn, München, Heidelberg, Köln, 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 Hamburg, and of course Berlin. 3. Go to Europa Park Europa Park is the second largest amusement park in Europe which luckily I was really close to as an exchange student in Freiburg. You won't regret visiting. The roller coaster Silver Star is unforgettable. Fia, go to Oktoberfest. I went to Oktoberfest and literally drank a liter of Fradler. It is hectic, there are many drunk people, the accommodations are way overpriced, but it is still an experience. Fünf, drink the Feta Weise. This is one thing that I really, really regret not trying. If you're in Germany during fall, you gotta have to have the Fetterweiser, which is like the fresh first wine of the season. It's partially fermented, so it's more sweet and light than regular wine. It's only available for about a month from September to October, so you gotta move fast or else you'll miss the season like I did. Zex, enjoy the German supermarkets. I don't know about others, but Korean students will find the German supermarkets super cheap. It is one of the reasons I baked non-stop. The ingredients are so cheap compared to Korea. I think the snacks are rather potato related or chocolate covered, but if you have a sweet tooth like I do, a year is not enough to try out all of them. Zeebin, don't forget the Christmas markets and advent calendars. Winter in Germany is quite, I mean very gloomy, but you can get through December by visiting different Christmas markets day by day. Sipping Glühwein and overpriced sausages in the cold weather is absolutely the best feeling. Here's a tip for the advent calendars. They go half-priced on December 2nd. Acht, record, record, and record. Despite all the ups and downs during your stay, I am 100% sure that you will someday return to your home country and just miss all the days there. Every single moment will become a precious memory, so make sure to record them. Journal when you feel overwhelmed, take photos of random groceries, and film around your neighborhood. Thank me later. That's it. Have a great time in Germany and alles Gute!